There we go. Welcome everyone to our Sunday World Meditation Prayer. I'm Dimitri Moraitis, and along with Barbara Martin, we're co-founders of Spiritual Arts Institute. We're so glad you joined us. Uh, we do these Sunday prayers to pray for the world and to receive the light ourselves and any inspiration that comes in as well, we share with you. Uh, we start with a, a, a brief meditation just to get us all unified together. Um, just relax. If you're like sitting in a comfortable chair like this, your back is straight, your feet are flat on the floor, uh, you just close your eyes and take a deep breath and just feel, the, feel your divine rhythm. You're, you're coming into oneness with that rhythm. And then envision about two feet above your head this golden white sun. Okay, we'll begin. Heavenly Father, Holy Mother God, we raise our consciousness into thy consciousness where we become one with thee. We ask to receive that which we need and that which we need to know now. As we hold our attention in the higher self, that beautiful golden sun above our head, we feel the divine presence. We feel the oneness with our own divine nature. And we ask that you down ray to us from the celestial source, the purple ray of peace. Peace, peace. Peace not as the world brings, but as only God can bring. The peace of spirit. Help us now to receive this peace in mind, in body, and in soul. We thank you as this light down rays to the higher self point, that golden sun above our head, and then first encircles us, down rays and encircles our auric field in this blanket of tranquility, the silence of peace and the peace of silence. Thank you as this now blesses, this purple light blesses our mental center, bathing the mind in peace, releasing any agitated thoughts, any anxious thinking, worried thinking, any pressures, mental pressures we may be dealing with. Relaxing the mind. So at this moment, we are truly in that oneness of mind. Our mind and divine mind are one mind. To downray this light to our throat center, <clears throat> the power of our words, bringing peace to our tone, the way we speak, the tone of our speech. Let it issue forth in those tranquil tones of spirit. And releasing any anxious words that may have been spoken to us by others, or if we did inadvertently speak anxious words. To let it all go now and feel the tone of spirit pervading our aura. And thank you as this light down rays to our heart chakra, our hermetic center, this energetic nucleus of our world affairs, bringing more peace in our life. Even if things are unresolved right now, wherever we are in our life pursuits at this time. Let us feel that eternal oneness of peace, the peace of spirit. And thank you as this light down rays to 
the point by our navel, the spiritual chakra point, our emotional center. And let this purple light radiate through all the emotions so that we may feel the still waters of peace and tranquility. The poise, the trust in the divine. And thank you as this energy outrays through our physical body. Bringing peace and tranquility if there's any physical stress we may be dealing with. Just let that body relax. The muscles the tendons, the ligaments, the joints, the nerves. And let it outray through the whole auric field, bringing in this climate of tranquility. The peace of spirit. We thank you now for this wonderful energy. We thank thee that this is so. So be it. And you take a moment to feel that energy equalizing. It is such an amazing ray, that purple ray of peace. Interestingly, as Barbara describes it, when a soul has reached a certain level of maturity and spiritual advancement, Purple is a strong energy in the aura because it does show that this person, while they may be very involved in the things they need to do in life, they're not overwhelmed by those things. They do understand there is a greater power moving through. And that's the way we want to move. Um, well, we have um, coming up, at least in this country, the Thanksgiving. And uh, as we always do during this time, it, it is a time of personal gratitude. So if you haven't done that yet, this is a great time to express your thanks to the divine for everything you have in your life. Um, the best way to get out of feeling sorry for ourselves <laughs> is to start expressing that sense of gratitude uh, for everything that you have. So take time to do that right now. Uh, be generous with others. Um, you know, sometimes when people are maybe not acting their best self, we kind of pigeonhole them in that identity and we say, oh boy, this person is acting this way. Well, do your best not to over-identify with anything they may be saying or doing that's maybe not quite in the light. Try to see them in that compassionate light, see them beyond everything that they may be saying in that, ooh, is everything okay? That wonderful spark that's there. Um, of course, we also know that we're going through a, a challenging time right now. The, the pandemic is we're kind of heading almost into the winter of it right now. So as we have shared with you from the very beginning when this whole pandemic started, and that's when we actually started these, these world meditation prayers, um, you know, this is not a world karma. This is part of nature doing nature's thing. What's different now is the world is so much more integrated than it's ever been that this is telling us what can happen in one part of the world can really affect other parts of the world as well. So this is the time to really act as responsible as possible. I know it's not fun sometimes that we can't do all the things we want, but please play it safe. This is a real thing. It's not, it's not phony. And there's a, we've all been under a bit of stress right now especially, of course, our healthcare workers that are going through a type of exhaustion from dealing with this for many, many months. The good news is, of course, there is a vaccine on the way. And remember also what, what the higher shares is all great ideas, inventions, medicines, everything like this that benefits humanity, it's inspired by the higher. It's not just our own ingenuity. 
when you get a great idea about something, it, 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 it was given, it was bestowed upon you, so to speak, which is why you're supposed to use it, because all inspiration is meant to be useful. And what I've heard so far in the, as, in the science, as far as the, uh, the vaccine is, it's a breakthrough in vaccines, period. It's a, it's a new way of making them. It, it could also set the pace for creating others in the future at a much faster rate. So we must celebrate all those people that work so hard, I'm sure, around the clock to bring this about. And of course, there's still a lot ahead to do. We're, we're not out of the woods yet. But, but to know that there is this light at the end of the tunnel, let's play it as safe as we can and be as responsible as we can right now. Um, as we prayed today, to, or, or this week to ask what to work with today, the energy that came through very strongly is the bright orange ray. Now, bright orange uh, can mean a couple of things. Sometimes it's a purifying ray. It is literally an energy that can help release things from the auric field. So in other words, if I get worried about something, I'm actually generating an energy of worry, and it's actually visible in the auric field, and it's not a happy energy. So I have to release that energy so I can replenish it with something else. And a version of the orange power ray does do that. But the ray we're going to work with today brings in another aspect of the divine life. It brings in motivation, enthusiasm, and even ambition. Ambition to succeed in a healthy way. We all come to this earth with something to accomplish. And it's going to take everything we have to do it. Now, sometimes when conditions don't seem to be cooperating with this, it can get discouraging. Oh, I thought it was going so well, and I had a quote-unquote setback. And in that discouragement, sometimes we can eh, lose our momentum or even give up hope. And that's the time when we have to be the most hopeful and the most ambitious when sometimes things aren't going well. And not to say just because I had this happen to me doesn't mean it's not where I'm not moving on the right track. It means maybe I just have to be a little bit stronger or I have to maybe change my approach a little bit. So whether you have lost your job during this time right now or dealing with financial issues right now or just going through it like we all are, we want to keep our motivation as strong as possible so that we're staying in the rhythm of life. We're staying in the flow that needs to happen. So as we're bringing down this energy, if anything has discouraged you right now, whether it's a person, a situation, just yourself, you're discouraging yourself from something, give yourself permission as this light comes down to just let that go. Even if you're not sure exactly what the next step is, to just say there is a step and it is for my benefit and it's going to be good for not just me, but for everyone concerned. We have shared that while there have been physical challenges this year, energetically, spiritually, some incredibly beautiful rays and powers have been coming down. So we want to be part of that spiritual splendor and all that it's offering right now. And eventually, it, it will come and flow more fully and express itself in the physical life. But make sure you stay very connected. Your higher self, by the way, is the great key. You're feeling again discouraged. You get into that higher self consciousness to bring down this ray on your own, and it'll get you back in alignment. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll do that for ourselves. We'll also send it, of course, to the world and pray for the world in general. Okay, great. Just relax and let's begin. Heavenly Father, Holy Mother, God, we enter into thy infinite circle <clears throat> of living light, love, and peace. We ask now that you raise our consciousness into thy consciousness, 
where we become one with Thee. We ask to receive that which we need and that which we need to know now. We ask that you downray unto us today the brilliant, bright orange ray of motivation and enthusiasm. And let it downray and activate this higher self point of spiritual knowing, two feet above our head, in a beautiful burst of bright orange light, forming almost like an orange sun above our head, radiating its divinity and its sacred holiness, and lifting our spirits and lifting our consciousness to feel ever closer to the divine, the wellspring of life. We thank you now as this energy down rays, see it like a beautiful ray of brilliant bright orange light. And we ask that it go into our mental center, that beautiful chakra point in our head, to stimulate the mind with new, creative, life-enhancing ideas. To release any discouraged or debilitating thinking and elevate the mind. Elevate it in this bright orange light. The vast intricacies of the mind all of its levels, conscious and subconscious, let them be beautifully blessed today so that we have more mental power to contain greater flows of divine ideas. And we also ask that it go into the brain, the instrument of the mind, and here to stimulate our brain functions and to help create new neural pathways of more illuminated, elevated thinking. So that our brain is reflecting the higher flows of mind. Thank you for downraying this bright orange light to our throat center to bring more enthusiasm into our tone. It's so wonderfully infectious when we speak in such an energetic vibration. It inspires not only us, but those around us to bring in that sense of hope that sense of goodness and upliftment that this motivating power has. To recognize how important it is to encourage not only ourselves, but offer words of encouragement to others, sincere and genuine. and to downray this bright orange light to our heart chakra, our hermetic center. This is our action center. It is where we energetically put things into motion in this life and into manifestation. And wherever we are in our life pursuits at this point, We ask that you inspire us with the bright orange ray so that we have even more ambition to succeed. 
to stretch our wings as far and wide as they will go. If anything in our earthly life has recently discouraged us or distracted us from where our attention needs to be, help us to bring us back on course, to be inventive, to be creative, to be productive. And if our projects are involving other people, may they be blessed in this light as well. So they feel more motivated, more excited. And there's even more beautiful mutual cooperation. And thank you as this light down rays to the emotional center. That beautiful chakra point by our navel, which has a pink nucleus. See this bright orange light going into that pink nucleus, encouraging us to be more loving, more emotionally expressive and more emotionally engaged in the things we are doing. Releasing any boredom, anything that feels too routine or mundane or uninspired. To release those vibrations and feel excited about our life and where we're going with it and what we're doing with it. And thank you as they're also sending light to the lower part of the auric field and even below the feet to build up a stronger spiritual momentum so that as we do our activities on this earth, wherever we walk, whatever we do, that light of the divine is always with us. So we carry that motivation throughout the day. Thank you as it outrays and quickens the physical body. And if our physical body has been tired or sluggish or listless or lethargic for whatever reason, thank you for stimulating the functions and systems of the body with this incredible, vibrant orange light. Exciting the body, exciting the cells and the organs of the body so that they are functioning at their optimal level. And it's, the light is also going strongly to the heart. What an amazing organ the heart is, beating every day of our life, beating our body every day of our life. And let there be this motivation let our heart be motivated and also express our gratitude for all it's doing for us. And again, it's going to the brain and all the energy that's needed to run the brain to stimulate it now too, so that it too is firing those signals at their optimal level. And then thank you as this energy flows through the whole auric field 
elevating the aura, reinvigorating it. And now as a group, we do express <clears throat> from our higher nature our gratitude, our eternal gratitude to the divine for all you do for us every single day of our life. On this side of life, on the other side of life, thank you for everything. Your constant loving kindness, your inspiration, your guidance. Thank you for every opportunity in our life, every challenge in our life, everything that can make us stronger and more brilliant in the, uh, in the light. Thank you for every single person in our life and what that person brings to our life and what we bring to their life. Thank you for the conditions in our life and where we are right now and what it offers moving forward. And thank you for the guidance and for the opportunity to grow in the light. The incredible time we are on earth to evolve more beautifully, more gloriously than has ever been on this planet before. And then for a moment in silence, wherever else you want to give a more specific gratitude, please do so. And now we thank you, and as a group, we do ask that you send the bright orange ray to all the people of the world to boost their motivation, their enthusiasm, their zest for life. And wherever there has been discouragement, distrust, distractions, or outright persecutions, or difficulties. Let those souls feel the power of this divine light. To know God is with them and to keep going. Keep strong in your spiritual path. And it's going into many places where there is despondency those in jails and orphanages in unhappy foster homes in convalescent hospitals and the hospitals themselves in hospice scenarios the homeless the hungry and the destitute Please reach into those areas where people feel the most hopeless, the most forgotten, the most neglected, and to know they have not been forgotten nor neglected. God is right there with them. And help inspire all of us to be more generous with our time, our resources, our intelligence and skills, where we can see and where we can offer a helping hand to help someone to do so. And we do thank you for sending the light to in this country on wherever they're celebrating Thanksgiving, that it is a safe and happy one. 
for all concerned. And that as we head into the holiday season and the spiritual light that's coming down during the season, that we, may, we remain particularly receptive this year to all the holy light and power blessing the earth and to remember how much God loves all of us. We thank you now also, let there be protection for anyone that's in harm's way right now and serving the greater good in risky or dangerous situations. And let the light go into our own homes, our families, and our friends, and even our pets. We thank you on behalf of Barbara and myself. We thank you for this beautiful work. Thank you, everyone here, for holding the light so beautifully. like they're giving each one of us a beautiful little flame of light above our head, a blessing. We thank thee that this is so, and so shall it ever be. So be it. Okay, beautiful. Well, good work, everybody. That's a lot of power going into the holiday. <laughs> so we hope you have a great week, a safe week, and we hope to see you next Sunday. Thank you so much.